Saskatchewan Development Model is the coalition. You've got Western Hockey League, Saskatchewan Junior Hockey League, Saskatchewan Midget AAA Hockey, and the Saskatchewan Hockey Association. And those organizations uh, come together to make hockey better in Saskatchewan, make it better for the players, make it better for education, for development, and for opportunities. The role of SHA in the Saskatchewan Development Model, I think, is to facilitate discussions and always bring it back to why we exist and what we're here for. So it's uh, resolution of any conflict, it's also um, preventing conflict from happening at all, actually. We call it a model, it's really a philosophy that, you know, what's in the best interest of the player. And ultimately, the player will make the determination of which way they want to go. And if they want to go Western Hockey League, the SJHL is there supporting that kid, but knowing that if he doesn't want or it doesn't work out, he can come back and play. So. Ultimately, it's getting everybody on the same plate, so to speak, and saying, hey, let's work together. We don't do anything to push that player in one direction or the other. We push that player and parent to make sure that, you know, when they make a decision, that it's based upon them asking the right questions, getting the right answers, so that they have enough information to make that decision. The Saskatchewan development model is unique to this country. Uh, there's no other province uh, that has full cooperation of all leagues. Uh, that might sound a little unusual, but it's true in that it's the only place where all of us sit down at the same table and discuss uh, what's best for the player, how we best resolve issues, and how we best look at the system from a development standpoint and making it better. This is one of the reasons why we wanted to get this going in Saskatchewan, with hopes that it will travel across the country and into the other provinces. This is the only place that happens, and that makes it a great situation for players and families in Saskatchewan. The SDM provides an opportunity for the player to be exposed at the different levels and the coaches at the different levels will discuss what is best for that player so that uh, when there's an opportunity for that player to go to another team in another league which would be beneficial to them then there's that communication between the leagues which allows that player to do that. It's enriched the educational opportunities we harp on that all the time, trying to make sure that the, the teams take that into consideration. Player development is important, but mental development of the player is also important. It has to be a smooth transition from wherever he was to where he goes. We've even done things like training camps are on different dates, so they're not on the same weekends. And so between AAA, Junior A, and Major Junior, they're not on the same weekend, so parents are being pulled in different directions. Now in AAA, we've informed the parents more of you know, the expectations that parents and kids should have of the program. From there, the AAA team is working really cooperatively with the dub team if he's uh, listed with, or an SJ team if he's listed there. So it's created some real good communication. Benefits to the parents are, it's a very informative program, and uh, when parents get involved in the SDM through their players, then they have an opportunity to see the development uh, being coordinated between the different leagues that are partners in this program. We create a manual every year that, that uh, you know, comes out with a story from each of the leagues and, and the, the branch, Saskatchewan Hockey, is involved in that and put together all the information that families need to make the decision and we're very honest and open about it. We work together to make sure that that information is there so the parents have the most information and, and the right information to make, what's, make a decision what's best for their family. All the, the kids that were 14 to 17 in the province got mailed a, a parent manual which outlined rules, regulations, expectations of not just the, the three leagues involved, but Saskatchewan Hockey, SAS First programs, CIS programs, even officiating programs. So now they, they've become a lot more informed and I know that when we talk with Western Hockey League teams throughout the whole league, they say Saskatchewan parents are generally the most educated in terms of questions they ask or they know you know, the whole system of what to expect. We're the only province in the country that where it's really worked and we've worked hard at doing that. And we tour around and speak to all 29 teams in the model, we get feedback from them, we do reports with recommendations that they see are going forward, bring them all together once a year to meet and they now are sitting at the table talking about common issues, they get to know one another. Those kind of relationships that have been created have been, it's been awesome in getting people to work together. The, the organizations all respect one another, uh, whether that's moving from midget AAA level to junior A or from midget AAA to 
to the major junior ultimately. Everyone is there to really make decisions that are in the best interest of the player. It's a commitment we've all made to the, to the model and, uh, and it's been ongoing and again it's very unique in, in, uh, to this province. You know when it comes to the SDM I think it's something that we have to keep talking about. Uh, we have to keep pushing to make it better each and every year or as often as we can and, and to provide those opportunities for those players. You know, when you've got a, a relationship like this going on, we like to think that it's, it's for the betterment of everybody involved. We feel like we're partners with each other and if there's an issue, you know, we support each other in other ways as well with marketing ideas and different things. We, we share all kinds of stuff and that works out much better for everybody. We not only accept the challenge, we're actually doing it. The commissioners of the leagues really have to be complimented for their dedication to making sure that this works. Creating opportunities to enhance your ability to be on a team and shaping character for life is our mission. It is hockey, but it's more than hockey.